One of the simplest pieces of equipment that you need to do natural allopathic medicine is a pH strips. I have three of them. Yeah, three different types. One of the most popular, round type. I have this one, which instead of having just straight pH paper, one, one strip, on this one you get two. So you have two, two color bars to zero in more closely on your exact pH, whether you're taking saliva or urinary. Let's see what my saliva is this morning. Mm, two acid. No surprise there. Tend to be two acid. Maybe it's a cup of coffee I had before. And here's my favorite pH strips. Why do I like this one? It has four color bars. You put this on, you know. And you get the four different colors, and it becomes easier, yet again, to match, to match your pH. And it looks like, looks like my pH saliva is six, two acid. Why is this so important? What our pH is. If cancer patients mostly have to take their urinary pH every morning and to take enough sodium bicarbonate in this form which is sodium bicarbonate and potassium bicarbonate or this form this is from Brazil the carbonato de sodium here's a box of a hundred grams and it costs a dollar twenty-five of course, you can buy 50 pounds of it in the United States and probably pay a dollar a pound. This medicine is the cheapest medicine in the world, and they don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to use it. Why? Because it works too good. It's the cheapest medicine in the world, and it'll compete with the most expensive pharmaceutical the pharmaceutical companies can come out with. It ha gives you command instantly of your pH. Why is that important? Because the pH of your blood and your tissues and your cells determine how the cells function. Every physiological process is pH sensitive. The more acid we become, the less oxygen we actually have. The more acid we become, the less carbon dioxide we have, which means our blood vessels constrict, letting less blood and less oxygen flow to the tissues. People ask all the time, how much sodium bicarbonate should I take? Well, to, to answer that question, you need your pH strips. Why? Because this is your navigational device to determine your dosage. Cancer patients need to get their urinary, morning urinary pH up to 8. 8.1, 8.2 maximum. You shoot above that or you shoot too far below that and you're really not in the sweet spot. You're not really treating cancer. At about eight, which you can keep up at that rate for about 10 days, and then you should take a week off or five days off, and then maybe do it again for uh, 10 days. Cancer is very pH sensitive. It's oxygen sensitive. And there's a, a space, a, a pH level that can cancer just doesn't like. Sodium bicarbonate 
is wonderful and universal because if you're acidic and you show that in on your pH paper and of course when you're getting chemotherapy and you're getting radiation therapy which I don't recommend at all you're going to become more acidic chemotherapy is toxic it's acidic radiation is very acid forming very toxic whether you're doing chemotherapy radiation or radiation therapy which will create very heavy acid conditions or you use sodium bicarbonate alone as a natural form of chemotherapy it makes sense you have your navigation any any doctor or si medical scientist will concede if you push them that having an ideal pH is helpful in fact Many forms of chemotherapy are done with sodium bicarbonate. They use sodium bicarbonate to buffer, to make the chemo agents safer because you're controlling the pH and not letting the body get too acidic. This is good medicine. Unfortunately for the medical world, that you they really can't be honest because the, if you give sodium bicarbonate with chemotherapy and a person does well meaning they recover from their cancer or they have regression of their tumors what is doing the work the chemotherapy or the sodium bicarbonate they're using to protect you from the chemotherapy pH medicine works pH medicine is one of the strongest ways you can get control of your own body and the processes that are going on and by doing that one gets strength on a physiological level to beat back cancer.